every superstar has a weakness. Some superstars have major weaknesses. Some superstars have minor weaknesses. So in my opinion, after these playoffs, I think Nikola Jokic is the best player in the world, right? I don't think Luka has taken that step. Listen, he goes comes back from, from 0-3. We can have that conversation. But as we stand right now, he's not the best player in the world. I think Nikola Jokic's biggest weakness is defense. But I also think since he won a championship, I don't see it as a major glaring weakness since he got over the hump. But these are some other superstars that I think have some decent weaknesses in their game. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. For Luka Doncic, it's defense number one, but number two is effort. And we're saying that's his biggest weakness, and that's his biggest weakness. But they've made it this far to the finals because of their elite defense, and he's played a role in it. Do you think it's a major weakness? I don't think it's as major as people try to make it out to be. Are we going to include diet in this? (laughs) Is that crazy? A little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't feel bad about it, actually. Um, that is so crazy. It's a weakness, though, for sure. Um, I'm, I think your list is fine. So you could say slash shape, maybe. Okay. Slash shape. Uh, for Giannis, I think half-court offense is still an issue in his game. Mm, I, but that kind of just goes hands in hands with jump shooting. So I would just go his weakness is jump shooting. That's fair. That's facts. His jump shooting, perimeter defense can maybe be in there, too. But it's just really that offense. He needs a perfect infrastructure of spacing around him to maximize his offensive abilities or else a team with personnel, they, could, they can make it tough. I wouldn't say half-court offense because he is a great playmaker, especially for his size, his ability to pass out of a double, his efficiency near the rim. does not matter. I mean, he's the most dominant we've seen since Shaquille O'Neal. I wouldn't go as far to say half-court offense more so it is just his jump shot. That's fair. For SGA, it's kind of hard to nitpick because... I think one weakness is potentially his three-point shot, but he just shot 40% in these playoffs. It was low volume. So my weakness was for him was a guard of his size. Can you just completely rely on mid-range and getting to the basket? The other weakness, which maybe isn't fair, he just has a limited resume, right? This is his, what, second year being like a true superstar in the league. Um, just got the first time winning a playoff series. So my biggest resume is just, we don't know if SGA can be the best player on championship team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think his biggest weakness is playmaking right Play, now. Okay. I think playmaking, he can make the simple reads, driving and kicking, the next pass over, but those skip passes across the court, finding an open man, like two steps ahead of the defense, I don't think that's his game. So I think he's a, a two. natural two. Agreed. That's he, fine. Yeah, he's he's, ki- he's Kyrie two. Irving in that, re- in that regard for me too, where I look at Kyrie, I've said it for as long as I've been on the show, I think Kyrie's a two. He's a natural two. He's trying to score the basketball. Not a natu- not a pass first kind of guy. Nothing wrong with that, especially when you are as efficient as a scorer as you are like SGA. For Jason Tatum, it's his jump shot. It's fallen off basically three straight playoffs where regular season, it looks pretty damn good. 2024, to the calendar year of 2024 in the regular season, he was the best pull-up three-point shooter in the NBA. The playoffs come around, he's under 30%. So his biggest weakness to me is his jump shot. That's fair. For me, I'd also say willingness to go downhill and go to the basket. That's another thing for me because he has the attributes to do it at a high level, has the the stats to back it up that he is. He is a great – because the jump shot has been so bad, he's been forced to do that. But at least he has shown a willingness to do it recently, but on a consistent basis. I would like to see him more. But jump shooting is fair. Yeah, I agree. It's the jump shooting. It's the mid-range shot, pull-up shooting. His three-point shot, his efficiency has taken a dip. I think it's also just settling. He settles, and that goes hand-in-hand with yep. not going downhill enough. And and I think maybe outside of Luka's defense or Giannis's jump shooting, Tatum's poor jump shooter might be the lowest of the lows, like amongst all these weaknesses, because the slumps at least happen on a more consistent basis than the weaknesses for these other guys up here. Yep. Uh, for Joel Embiid, his health. I think that's, that's pretty it. easy. Yes. For Steph and LeBron James, it's their age. Can they still get it done, potentially win a championship at damn near 40 and 37 years old? Why does everyone have to get old? It's a shame. Father time. Fuck. Uh, so the two other names I didn't have on my tweet, because I didn't want to do like the what I didn't want to do like the show more thing. There's Kevin Durant. Well, like I said, there's more names I have that I didn't have in my tweet because I didn't want to do the show more and you got to click in and scroll or whatnot. So the next name on this list for me would be Jalen Brunson. My biggest question for him is a player at six foot, six one on a great day, can he be the best player on a championship team? Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that goes hand in hand with defense because he's small. That goes hand in hand with playmaking. 
Because similar to SGA, I think Jalen Brunson, he can play make, he can make those those passes next to him, but the advance reads, if he's blitzed, how often can he go to the right spot? Against a team like Boston, if you're going up against Drew and their perimeter defenders, how efficient can you be? We've seen him at times in his playoff run struggle against Kelly Oubre, a, a wing that has more size and is agile. So if he faces a defender like that, how is he going to look? I think that's fair. You agree with that, Drew? I feel like you have the same exact statement made for Donovan Mitchell. It's can you with at that at that stature, with your skill set, even though you are an elite scorer, solid playmaker, are you, is your deficiency as your height going to impact you being the best player on a championship team? To me, I think that we're starting to integrate away from that for the idea that you see how efficient both these players can be and have shown to be in the playoffs if you just put together a solid roster around them. But that's a fair weakness. I mean, obviously, that's just what comes with it when you are 6'1". Anthony Edwards is a superstar. I just don't think it's fair to say what his weakness is yet because I think he has to improve as a playmaker. His I jump don't know. shot. Again, the jump shot was super efficient, then it kind of fell off. So I just don't know if I want to put a question on him yet because he's 22 years old. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't think that's fair. Is, he has that's just, right now. Yeah. I agree, he but he just yeah. he has so much. Like, all these guys are 25-plus years yeah. old. Playmaking, that's a weakness of his. And consistent jump, defense. correct. That's true, also. But consistent jump shooting, also. It's we saw it in this playoffs, and obviously when he's hitting, damn it, he's an unbelievable basketball player. But we haven't seen that on a consistent basis for an entirety of a season. But so, you're right; he's oh, the youngest player on his on this list, right? By yep. like three years. Yes, that's my goal, man. Um, a couple of other names: Anthony Davis. We could throw in this mix, Drew. My biggest question for Anthony Davis is: in the post LeBron era, will his offense ever be good enough to actually be number one on a team? That's fair. Uh, it sucks that we have seen him take such a huge step back as a jump shooter. His mid-range was pretty solid this season. To me, I'm, I'm always going to be happy with him sho- uh, choosing a mid-range shot. I don't love when he fades away on when he has a good matchup. To me, that's where he loses me. But losing the three-point shot really took a hit for me in projecting him long-term as an offensive player. So that's a fair question. I think that we see him from... We've seen spurts and stretches of him being an elite offensive option that kind of allow me to to feel confident that he can show and he can do it, especially as a number one. When we've seen LeBron James go out, he's averaging 28 to 30 points a night. So I don't have worries about that. It's just a matter of shot selection with AD. And I think that this past season was some of the best we've seen since 2020. That and motor. I think his motor, That's too. That's fine. That's fine. Especially last playoff run, he had didn't he have a stretch? It was where, every other game. You know, every other yeah. game he's playing well. Yeah, so I think that motor. Um, I think Kawhi is just health and age. Yeah. And uh, the last one I guess is Kevin Durant. Uh, Kevin Durant is difficult because he just might fall into that Jalen Brunson tier where I just don't know if he's going to be good enough to ever be a number one in a championship team again. Damn. Can Kevin Durant go to a new super team that has proper structure? If he, goes, if he goes back to Oklahoma City, they could win the championship Absolutely. next season. If he goes to the Knicks, we can win. Okay. But he needs to have, I think, similar to what we said with Steph Curry, he needs to have another top 10 level player on his team. Yeah, facts. Facts. Yeah. And like, Devin Booker is probably just outside of that. Like if KD, KD with Brunson, oh yeah, that'd be yeah, KD with SGA. If he went to Minnesota, KD with I'd Ant. like that too. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that would like be that that'd be amazing. That'd yes. be illegal, truthfully. And with KD, like, you know, his weakness now is just... um. Just going downhill. He just doesn't have the athleticism yeah. to, or the burst yeah, the to first really step, get to the basket. Even yeah. with KD at 37, would you trade Carl Anthony Towns to get him? Yeah, because Carl Anthony Towns' contract is going to restrict you in the future. Would you rather trade Cat or Gobert and have a five-out offense? Gobert can't get traded. I don't know if he's tradable like that. He means too much to what they're doing right now. I think Cat is the one that could get traded. Man, how things could have been so much different. Ant Man could have been the first one since Dwayne Wade, man, to get that championship. If, if yeah, any other names? No, th- those are the. Is there any other superstars I missed? I don't think, I don't think so. so. Maybe Devin Booker. I think Devin Booker's in the Mitchell tier. Yeah. Ja, ja Morant? Ja, yeah. I just think a lot of these guys are. Uh, yeah. Like, I try to limit it to guys that are viewed or could be viewed as like best player on a championship team type of guy. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, and I, I, think I love JB. John ja Morant hasn't know. shown that. And I think Devin Booker has shown that because he's been to the finals before. That's fair. And yeah. he's played really well in the finals. But he has to have a great team constructed around him. Mm-hmm. John Moran hasn't shown that? To be the best player on the championship team? Mm-hmm. No. Has Ant? 
Anthony Edwards? Yeah. He's made the conference finals. No, buddy. he's awesome, but lost in five. No, he hasn't he hasn't proven it, but that's given, the only reason I give pushback. Yeah, but given where he's at at twenty two years old. John Moran is 100%. how old? Twenty John Moran hasn't had a playoff run like Anthony Edwards did this year. I guess. That's yeah. true. It's true. Not, no, I guess it's true. People will use John Moran's like two games against Golden State, bro, <laughs> where they lost both of those games as a reason. Like, come yeah. on. Let's be real. I think John Moran's exceptional. I think his playoff numbers are exceptional too. But um uh, Anthony, Anthony has, Edwards. I like Anthony Edwards more. I mean, he's the only guy that you mentioned under on his list that's under twenty five. He's twenty two years old. John Moran is how old? Twenty five. Four? Yeah, but Ann is legitimately in these conversations. Why are you disrespecting John I'm not. Oh, I'm if we saying. want to say the biggest question for Josh, just jump shot. That's, that's my biggest question. And defense staying on the court. Too. How about staying too. on the court? That could judge, can you stay yeah, on the court? That's fair. He's got a lot of questions. I don't know if there's just one. No. You you would take Anthony Edwards over John. I would. In a heartbeat. But I'm just, in terms of respecting John Morant, we need to do I that. We need to do that. He's just not in this combo. 